Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install RBM, a stable version of RBM, and with Ruby and Rails. So install it, go to your browser. Go to their official website, rvm.in. Get the JPG key from there. We have to get the JPG key to verify the package that we have installed. The RBM package. Sometimes some of their servers don't work. So to get the JPG JPG key, we will use another servers from RBM. Go to their security and use this link here go to the terminal and now we have the gpg key that is required to verify the package the admin package sometimes if, if this server that they have provided doesn't work this server hpk then we can use other two alternate servers that they have provided here in the list. So so now we have copied the JPG key. Now we will install RBM using the curl command. To install RBM, we will do go to their official website and we will go to install. Install link from here. And to install a stable version of uh, RPS, we will choose stable plan. And if you want to install Ruby and Rails along with RBM, then we can install it by passing it the parameters Ruby and Rails. This will automatically install Ruby and Rails with a stable version of RBM. It will take some time based on your internet connection. So, RBM is mainly used for package management between various projects of Ruby and Rails. The benefit of using RBM is that you don't have to manually switch various packages of Ruby. If you are working on three or four projects and in each project you have different version of Ruby that you are using, then RBM does the switching of packages and the dependent gems automatically instead of you doing all the work. So that's why RBM is very useful. To use the RBM whenever you log into your whenever you open your terminal, you have to source the path of the RBM so that whenever you log into whenever you open your terminal, it will automatically pick RBM RBM from there. To do that, you have to source RBM paths in your branch profile file. For, for doing that, you have to source it. To your branch profile.rc file. Firstly, file. It will automatically write the source of RBM in your branch profile. So now, whenever you open your terminal, it will automatically know from where to pick RBM. If you will. Right, RBM in terminal. Another plan that is required to be set if you use bash profile instead of bash rc file in your profile in preferences you have to enable this plan run command as a login check. What it will do 
it will do dash profile file instead of dash rc file while opening the terminal. So now when I open a terminal, it will be dash profile file instead of dash rc file. So it will know where to find R. So our RDM is installed now with the rails and with Ruby. So this was the video explaining you how to install RDM with Ruby and Rails. Thank you.